Welcome to part five of walking on the Ryerson Station Warpath. And look, Duke Lake. And if you look back in the distance, there's no lake. <laughs> no lake. Lake gone. Uh, the the coal mine went underneath here and and blew it blew up the dam. Uh, it cracked it and then they had to blow it up because uh, they accidentally cracked a dam. So because they couldn't go underneath the lake, that's in the laws of what coal mines can do. And when it comes to big money, there are no rules. The bo the bottom line is the rule, and follow the money. <laughs> so, so they said, "Oh, we'll fix it." Yeah, right. I'll never live to see the day they fix it. Like I said, I said in part one of this, uh, inf the name of the, the name of this series of videos is "God, Country, and Infowar," because that's what we're fighting, my friends. All you have to do is pass my videos around to your friends to wake them up. All the work, all the hard work of waking people up, or my blogs on my website. And uh, so that's how that's how easy it is for you. All you do is pass my videos around for people to watch, and they go to my website, which is at the, is at the bottom of every video that I do. And voila, you are an info warrior, and we are winning this info war to wake people up to the truth on what's really going on with our country and the world. Evil is taking over. Uh, the governments, well, they have taken over the governments of every country in the world. The United Nations is an evil uh, tool that put that has got the ball rolling for evil to take over the world. And first step for us patriots to do is to always be patriotic and love our country. And that's what I've been doing. <laughs> to, to, to teach I mean kids look at me they love me they love me so because they know they don't see a patriotic American like me walking with the flag you know right there I have planted seeds every kid that goes by and sees me walking with the flag I plant a seed for patriotism for them to love this country that is the step number one they are trying to dissolve our borders. They do not want countries. They want a new world order. They want a one world government. And I knew that when I first started walking. So I will walk until they pass a law that I can't walk. And when they pass that law that you can't walk, I will still walk and I will go to jail. And I don't care because I am, I am like, like George Washington says, a uh, uh, thing that separates the American Christian from the rest of the Christians of the world is that we will die standing on our feet. We'd rather die standing on our feet than living on our knees. And that is me to the T. For since the beginning of, of my life, I've been a freedom fighter. <laughs> Even when I was one year old, I had a flag. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, but uh, we, we have to get God back into schools, back to in, into public events, back to the roots of how this country was founded. Screw the liberals who say, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Screw you, man. I'm tired of these liberals screwing up our country. We're going to put God back in the schools. That's first what the first thing us patriots are going to do.